Hi guys! So it's been like two, three weeks since I filmed a video. So I've been really, really lazy. And I filmed a few before I went to Y that I meant to put up and never got to. So I might have quite a few coming, but it's been a while. Um, so I thought I'd do a look today that's kind of fun, kind of like a, a going out look, even though it's daytime. Eh, whatever. Um, so it's sort of silver, brown, and black colors. And I started, or I did this eye, and I accidentally started this one, but I will, I tried rubbing it off a little bit. So, um, I'm going to start with this silver pigment in Surf the Ocean. Any silver kind of pigment will do. Actually, silver eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm taking a MAC 213. I'm just going to wet the brush because I really like putting pigments and eyeshadow in general on wet. So pick up some color. And now you want to start by putting it in the inner third. Don't be afraid to drag it down. I didn't enough on this eye, but it's not really hard. You just a couple flicks, dots of color. Alright. And now you're going to take a black eyeshadow. Or, I'm using Grease Paint Stick by MAC in Slick Black. That's mainly because I wanted to try a different kind of medium. And just drag that in from the outside. So the last third of your eye. It helps if you can pull your lid taut. Which obviously since I'm holding a mirror I can't. And you simply kind of, you can blend with your fingers if you're worried about getting them dirty. I'd use a Q-tip. Just because it's more like a cream pigment, kind of. It's what it reminds me of. Not just a cream shadow, more pigmented than that. Alrighty. And now you can take <laughs> Summer Stash. The bronze, brown, bronze brown color. I really like this one. It's like a chocolate bronze. Any color like that will do. Some of these I know, well most of them are limited edition, so finding similar colors is just as good. And now you want to pat this in the middle, blending it over some of that black, blending it over some of the silver. And blending it up so that it definitely goes in that crease area. And then you can just take a blending brush. I'm going to use the 224 from MAC. It's the big fluffy one. Ooh, big fluffy one. I'm just kind of blending them together up here. Down here I feel like they don't really need to, but you can a little bit if you find any harsher lines. And now, oop, I think I've said oops like five times today. You take an eyelash curler, curl your lashes. And 
and then coat them with mascara. I'm going to use Maybelline One by One Volume Express in black, or black is black, one of the two, or very black. They have so many names for black mascara now. And you just want to do one coat of that for now. And then while I let that dry, I am going to start doing cheeks. You can start with any coral blush. I'm going to use a cream. This is actually the blush creme, which they discontinued and brought out cream blush. And this one's in Posy. It's kind of a coral. And kind of keep it more down here. It adds like a different sort of flush than if you put it like way up on your apples, which is what I usually do. I think the apples make it more sweet and innocent, and the lower you put it, the more dramatic it looks. And then just kind of blend. You want to blend it fairly well, but we are popping a different blush on top. <laughs> so then you can take any kind of coral blush. This is a bite of an apple. This is from the Venomous Villains collection, but it's very corally orange. Um, Coralista would be a good one from Benefit. Um, and you want to put this in the same area you put the other one. This sort of sets that cream, and for summer it's really good because it doesn't move around as much. Put that nice color up there. There we go. Alrighty. And now you can do a highlight. I'm going to do Pink Power MSF from the Wonder Woman collection and just this highlighter color. So you drape that along your cheekbones. And then you can pop it anywhere else. I don't do a whole lot in the summer. Winter, you need a little more glow. Summer, your skin's going to turn dewy just from the heat sometimes. Alright. Now cheeks are done. Um, let's just do eyeliner. So I used on Maybelline Unstoppable and Espresso on my top and bottom water lines. And I'm going to go out of frame for this just because um, I can't do it unless I'm really close to a mirror. And this is pretty basic. You're just lining your water lines. This is definitely not my favorite part. <laughs> All right. I feel very out of it. I think it's because I haven't filmed in a while, but also, um, I just feel backwards today. Usually I do my hair and then my makeup, and now my hair is just in a ponytail because I wash my face and, like, it's just all haphazard. So now I'm taking another grease paint stick in French Quarter. This came out with Venomous Villains. It's just another brown with, like, some golden sparkles. I'm putting that below. Right with that silver, right with the bottom lashes. And now you can take your slick back, slick black again. 
and put this one down here too. This is really just in that outer third. But you kind of want to connect it to your up. All I hear is survey stuff outside. Very peculiar. So, there you go. I want to make sure these are even. Mine never seem even enough for me. Maybe I'm a perfectionist. Alright, so those are those done. And now you want to curl your lashes once more. Because you put mascara on them, it's always good to curl them after. Um, and now I'm taking Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. I'm going to line the top of my lashes. I love how thin this brush is. It lets you get a really natural or really dramatic look. And it's not completely foolproof, but it's up there. It's not very hard to work with either. Sorry if you can't see. This is another pretty basic thing. Alright, and now I did false eyelashes, which is one of my favorite things to do. I'm always worried about going over on time. The last thing I'm doing is lips, and I'm using, once again, my Devilish Innocence Beware Lipstick and Devilishly Stylish Lip Gloss from the Venomous Villains. So if I, don't, if I have to cut that part out, at least um, everyone knows what's being used. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, and now I put the glue. Um, these are 110s. Yep, 110s, and they're just, um, regular Walmart Ardell's, maybe? No. Maybe. But 110. They're the false eyelashes at Walmart. Um, I found a really cool pair. They remind me of some Elamascus lashes. I can't find them. I don't know what happened to them. They didn't even make it on my shopping bag. Alright. So you just want to put this as close to the lash line as you can. And it takes a while to become proficient at false eyelashes because they're not easy. They really aren't. Alright, so now we're going to leave eyes for a little bit so that my falsies can set. Oh, and now we're going to do lips. So maybe that won't be cut out, but I'm going to put mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So if anything gets cut out, that'll be it. I feel like I use this far too much. Only in my tutorials. I don't really wear it that much every day, but all the tutorials, it's like, ooh, nude lip, let's do that. And I do that sometimes to get it off the little uh, tube part. And now you just want to, you have Kleenex a lot, I didn't grab any. Is that just some distance though? 